Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm going to attempt to give you a basic understanding of a program called C++. C++ is a medium-level coding language that I personally enjoy playing with. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the basics of C++ and simple statements, such as Cout, Cn, and Sleep. C++ has influenced many other coding languages, such as Python and Java. Before you start learning C++, you must understand that you're learning a language, and as such, it will take time. Patience and practice is key. Before you start any project, you must first ask yourself, is C++ the program you want to be learning? Why should you learn how to write it, rather than other languages like Python and Ruby? Each language has its strong points, and for C++ they are mainly in its ability to write programs that can run incredibly quickly. This is why C++ is commonly used for game development and business application. Here are some definitions of some things that we're going to be working with today. You can pause the screen if you want, but without further ado, let's get started. After you successfully installed code blocks and have it open on your desktop, select Create a New Project. Then navigate to Console Application. Then select C++. Here, you'll be able to name your project. So I'm going to name mine uh, Wind. On the left side of your screen, you'll see a Projects tab. Below this, a header named whatever you named your project. Attached to this will be your source files. If we open our source file, we'll see a main.cpp. If we double click main.cpp, we'll see some pre-made code appear. I'm going to delete this and start from scratch. I'm going to explain what I'm doing and what it is that my code does. So first off, we have to include libraries. Libraries are basically piles of information that tell your computer how to run something. Without libraries, your computer will not know how to run something and you'll get an error in your code. So first off, we have to include iostream. We included iostream by typing hashtag include iostream in angle brackets. So however many lines below this, we're going to type using namespace std. If we type using namespace std before our function, we won't have to type std then two colons before our statements as a prefix. It basically creates an invisible prefix of std then two colons before our statements inside of our function. So now we have to make our function or method. To do this, we have to type int, then the name of our function, so int main, I'm going to call mine, then parentheses, then swiggly brackets. This is the basic format for any function you'll ever make. Inside your function, you'll have statements. Statements are basically lines of code that tell your computer to do something. A simple statement would be cout. Cout tells your computer to open its console and type something inside of itself. Whatever we see out will be displayed on screen. So use the cout statement, we have to type cout, then two angle brackets facing inwards, then whatever we want to be displayed. So I'm going to display chicken in capitals. Now we go to the next line of the console by typing end l. We end every statement inside of our function with a semicolon. So in our next line, I'm going to have C out. I love chickens. I'm going to end this line too. You don't have to, but I'm going to end this line. And you end every statement inside your function with a semicolon. You just have to, or else you get an error like this when you build and run this. So you get an error. So if I run this, my CMD will appear. And now I get on my first line, chicken. Then on my next line, because I ended the first line, I love chickens. So now I'm going to delete this little bit of code here, and I'm going to make my computer ask for a number, then it's going to show it on screen. So first off, we have to make an integer or a variable. So let's type int x, then semicolon. Right now x is not equal to anything, so 
if we want to make x equal to something, we type x equal 2. x can only be equal to whole numbers like 2, 3, or 4, and not 2.2 .2 or decimal numbers, because int only accepts whole numbers. So I'm going to delete this actually and make x equal to nothing right now. x has no, is not assigned any integer, so x is nothing right now. So now I'm going to type C out, enter a number. Then on the next line, we're going to use a C in statement. So C in, then these angle brackets going outwards, then X. So what I did here is I told the user to type a number. Now whatever number they type in is equal to X. So if they type 7, x becomes equal to 7. So if I type 1, x is 1, 2, x is 2. Now I want to display x on the screen. So now I'm going to type c out the number you entered is x. So now I put a bunch of typos inside of my C out to show you that whatever is in here doesn't matter. But what does matter is this and this. So now it's going to say the number you entered is x. If we entered 5 up here, then x is equal to 5, the number you entered is 5. So now if I build and run this, on our first line it's going to say enter a number. Then we ended this line, went to the next line, then we typed C in. C in is going to request a number. So if whatever we type in, we're going to tell the computer that that is what x is equal to. So if I type 5, x is 5. Then it says the number you entered is x. x is 5, so the number you entered is 5. Now I'm going to show you how to use the sleep statement. Now a sleep statement basically tells your machine to wait for a set amount of time. To create a sleep statement we have to type sleep parentheses then a semicolon. Make sure that you capitalize your S. Now if we want our sleep statement to wait for two seconds we have to go inside our parentheses and type 2000. Now the reason I type 2000 is because this is in milliseconds so 2000 milliseconds is two seconds. So now if I build and run this I'm going to get an error. Now the reason I got an error is because I did not include the library necessary to run the statement. So if I want to be able to run the statement I have to include the library windows.h. So we'll type hashtag include windows.h. Now if I build and run this it should work. Now it's the same as before, but when I enter the number, it's going to wait for two seconds before displaying the number we entered. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. I'm Mike, and this is my introduction to C++.